Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am actually going to be trying out the new makeup brand by Ariana Grande. It's called REM Beauty. I did see that it is a vegan and cruelty-free brand. You guys know that I review cruelty-free beauty here on this channel. So I had to get my hands on the products to try them out here for you guys and just let you guys know what I like, what I think it's good, what I think it's not good. So yeah, let's get into the video. I'm actually wearing the products right now she actually came out with a lot of products i just purchased the ones that i would want to try out and i was interested in and i know that i'm gonna use and i didn't love everything so definitely watch the whole video so that you guys can see what i did like what i didn't like so one of the things that stood out from the brand was the packaging um there are definitely some mixed reviews from the brand about the packaging i'm excited to see another full vegan beauty brand like rare beauty by selena gomez all of their products are vegan so i purchased the products as soon as it launched and it took a while for me to get my package so i was already a kind of frustrated and not too happy about that because i wanted to get the package pretty quickly so i can film a video as quickly as possible but that didn't happen but i still just wanted to go ahead and try out the brand and review it here for you guys and my subscribers i did get an email that they were delayed in shipping and you guys know all that's going on right now with shipping there are so many delays but i finally got my package and i was able to try out rem beauty so rem stands for the phase of sleep during which your most creative limitless and vivid dreams occur and online it says that it was created to empower you with the tools you needed to bring your most vivid limitless and creative dreams to life so one of the products that i purchased is the highlighter topper i really wanted to try out the highlighter because it just looked really nice i like the packaging and the design of the highlighter they're not super luxurious but they're not super cheap packaging either in my opinion the highlighter comes with a mirror which is really nice and 22 dollars i do think it's a little pricey like on the higher price range and i got the shade miss mercury which is a warm champagne shade they have a ton of highlighter shades this shade is really really pretty i swatched it and it just feels really really smooth and buttery it didn't feel too powdery either whenever i applied it on the skin really pigmented um, a little goes a long way and it just blends out really nicely and easily and pretty happy with the first product that I tried out I really really liked it and I really liked this shade a lot and as you guys can see on my cheeks it looks very nice and glowy and it doesn't apply glittery it doesn't look powdery it just looks pretty natural but it's pigmented enough to give a glow and this one looks really really smooth it does not accentuate my texture so the next product that I purchased and tried out is the plumping lip gloss. I just wanted to try it out. I really like plumping lip glosses as you guys have seen in my other video from the Fenty Beauty Heat lip plumping lip plumping. Why is that hard to say? Lip 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 plumping gloss you guys know i really really love that gloss a lot and if you guys want to see that review it's on my channel but so this is the packaging of the lip plumping gloss and to me i don't know it just kind of seems a little bit small you get 0.28 fluid ounces and the gloss is 17 dollars and i got the shade vcr which is a tawny rose and they also have a ton of shades for the lip plumping gloss some of them are pretty different as well so i kind of like that they came out with different shades not typical shades that you would see in like the beauty industry i'm gonna go with a basic shade that i know that i would wear and use so i went with this shade vcr and i swatched it and i do like the shade it's really really pretty nude mauve rose shade i like these type of shades so it comes in a squeezy tube so you're supposed to squeeze out the lip gloss it's like kind of like a hard plastic so i kind of had a little trouble just squeezing it out from the packaging and i don't know overall like just the packaging just felt very cheap you do feel like a tingling sensation and it does last a while i did kind of noticed that my lips were plumping up a little bit but not too much it wasn't super sticky but it was a little tacky 
It reminds me of a lip gloss or something that I have smelled before. I am wearing it right now on top of the lipstick that I purchased. I just feel like it barely plumped the lips and it just didn't really last that long. It was just okay. So the eyeshadow palette is $24 and it comes with six shades that are matte and shimmer. So the packaging of the eyeshadow palette is pretty nice. Actually, I do like it and it looks like a pill. So almost everything kind of looks like this shape and then it kind of has like a diamond or dome shape if you have like more than one of these it would be kind of hard to like stack products on top of this but it does have a slim component which i do like it wouldn't take up too much space in your makeup bag which is great and it comes with a mirror the mirror is actually really nice and clear i first used the matte shade right here which is kind of like a tan shade use that as a transition shade and my crease and when I first applied the shade I was pretty shook I really was not expecting any of the products to be good or anything like I did not really know what to expect but I kind of had my expectations pretty low it just applied really good and pigmented and it blended out so easily it just felt very smooth and there was no patchiness and no skipping on the eyeshadows and they weren't super powdery either there's some eyeshadows that are very very powdery they feel chalky but these do not feel like that um it just feels like a very very soft formula and i don't know it's just very very nice formula on the eyeshadows and then i went in with the tan shimmer shade and applied it all over my lid and again i was like not expecting the shimmer shades to be um any good or anything because on the pan they just look kind of like regular kind of dull shimmer shades and i didn't feel like they could be pigmented but i barely picked up the shimmer shade and it applied very very good as well and pigmented Pigmented and I didn't need that much either to apply it on the lid so that it can cover it all up The shade it was really really pretty and then I went in with the gold shade in the middle of my lid And the gold shade was also pretty pigmented and I also did not think it would be I really really liked how it looked in the center of my eyelid And then I went in with the dark brown shade on the outer portions of my eyes The dark brown applied really nicely as well and then I went in with the red shimmer shade on my lower lash line the red i wanted to use because it's the holidays i really wanted to go ahead and incorporate the red one in the look and it's not like a super red shade it actually looks a little bit of a red orange once you apply it and i think it looks pretty good on the lower lash line and it's a very wearable red shade it's not like those very bright red shades that you just don't know what to do <laughs> on your eye look this is a very wearable red i know a lot of people don't really like black eyeshadows because they're just hard to work with people just think the black is a little too harsh but i really like black shades and eyeshadow palettes i'm really glad that they have this one with a black shade and it's a matte black shade it's really dark the reason i like a black shade is because i like to create a wing with the black shade and a very small angled brush because sometimes i am in a hurry applying liquid eyeliner takes me a little bit longer so i just really like how it looks on the inner corners and just on the outside of my lid was impressed with the eyeshadows and i really was not expecting to and i like that it's magnetic so it's pretty easy to open and close it doesn't clip either so for people who do have trouble opening uh packages that do clip or have a clip this one is pretty easy to open you just put your thumb here and you open it this way you have to push it down so that it can close all right so the next product i got is the lengthening mascara she came out with two different mascaras a lengthening one and a volumizing one i got the lengthening one because i'm more concerned with making my lashes long because i have some pretty short lashes and the mascara is 15 dollars they're both in the shade midnight black that's the only type of mascara i love is a black mascara and i really like the packaging of the mascara and it also has a wand that i really like skinny and it tapers so i can get really close to like the inner corner of the lashes so i curled my lashes on one side and then on the other side i didn't this is how it looks with just one coat and i can definitely see a difference with the mascara 
mascara and without and this mascara applies instantly i felt like it lifted my lashes i felt like i didn't really have to apply too many coats but i did apply a second coat so you guys can see and with the second coat i feel like you can really see the difference i'm very picky with mascaras and there haven't been many mascaras that i really really like and this one was actually pretty good and i was really impressed with how it just lifted my lashes and i felt like it did lengthen them i've been messing with the eyelashes and stuff and i don't feel like it's flaking either my initial impressions of the mascara is actually pretty good and i thought it was a really good mascara for the first time of trying it for 15 dollars, i think that's a pretty good price for the mascara okay so the next product is the matte liquid eyeshadow so the shade that i got is sup and it is a matte nude honey so i just wanted to try it out because it seemed pretty interesting the packaging is really really cute it comes in a little tiny bottle like this the cap is white this one is actually the one that looks the most different from all the other packaging it almost makes me just want to use it as a lipstick but it is a liquid eyeshadow i really do like the little wand that it comes with it's super super cute it's a little and short our Lux liquid gel formula helps give the look of smoother skin and can be applied all over the lid and used as a liner with our fluffy tapered teardrop applicator so they have two different type of liquid eyeshadows one that's matte and then one it's like a shimmery one i went with the matte one i did apply it on the back of my hand uh swatched it for you guys which um it actually looks very similar to the tan shade and the eyeshadow palette um the color and i also wanted to see how it blended out with a brush so i used an eyeshadow brush on the back of my hand and it blended out pretty good and it is very pigmented and i felt like i applied a lot so a little goes a long way with this liquid eyeshadow as i was blending it out the formula did feel very thin and very airy and light like it says online after i blended it out i didn't really see any harsh lines and i was rubbing the back of my hand with my fingers once it dried down and it was not budging or moving so i can see how it's waterproof and it would last a really long time for performers like ariana you really do need these type of formulas and eyeshadows to last a whole show so i can see why they came out with these type of eyeshadows i'm excited to use this at another time just by itself 16 dollars not that bad so of course i had to get my hands on the bullet lipstick it is so unique and different so the lipstick is 19 dollars. it's a matte lipstick so i wanted to get the shade tiramisu i didn't want to just go with just like a really basic nude shade because i always do that and i did that with the gloss so i just went ahead and got a darker shade for like the winter and the holidays the packaging is actually pretty cool i like the packaging a lot it does close magnetically when you take it out it just has like this matte layer all over the lipstick and then it's imprinted with rem so the packaging is really cool on the lipsticks i really like it i know some people don't like the packaging but i think it's pretty different and interesting looks like ariana's space helmet well and you can actually see the shade of the lipstick through the little window that they put right there i swatched the lipstick when i applied it and applied really really nicely i was dabbing it on my lips to kind of diffuse it with my fingers and i really liked how that looked as well it just felt very lightweight on the lips and it didn't feel drying either it has a creamy formula even though it's a matte lipstick it does have a really smooth hydrating formula where it doesn't feel drying on the lips so i went ahead and applied the gloss on top it looks pretty good as well with the gloss and yeah let me go over everything again and let you guys know what i liked what i didn't like what i think is worth it so the highlighter is really really nice i like the highlighter i really like the packaging i like how the highlighter looks it's really pretty this shade is really really pretty miss mercury i'm definitely gonna be using this a lot like it might be like my new go-to highlighter this is a really really nice highlighter i like it a lot i like that it comes with a mirror the lip plumping gloss is the least favorite i just don't like 
the packaging that much on the lip gloss the squeezy tube is a little too hard in my opinion whenever you're starting to run out of the gloss i feel like it would be hard to just get like the last amount of the lip gloss and i feel like a lot would be wasted with this packaging i actually think that the fenty beauty heat gloss balm is better than this one so that one is also vegan so the eyeshadow palette i actually did not really think that i was gonna be really that impressed with the eyeshadow palette but i actually was i think it's a pretty good palette and it's 24 dollars, so i feel like the price on the palette is not that bad um, and this is exactly what i was looking for so i'm definitely going to be using this a lot so i would recommend the eyeshadow palette and if you don't like the black shade then the other eyeshadow palette that she has that has neutral eyeshadows is a really good option it's the baby doll palette if it wasn't for this one i would actually use the baby doll one the mascara is really good i really like the mascara i was really really impressed for a vegan cruelty free mascara i think it's one of the top vegan mascaras right now that i have tried out so far so i definitely would recommend the mascara as well i do think it's worth it really like the packaging as well the liquid eyeshadows um i can't really tell you guys yet like if it's worth it or not but i do think that the formula is really interesting i'm pretty excited to try it out and you guys saw that on my hand it just blended out really good so i feel like it's just an easy way to use eyeshadow and you can just apply and probably blend it out with your fingers and you're good to go so i do think that the liquid eyeshadow is pretty good and then last the matte lipstick i love it i really really like it a lot i think it has a really good formula it is very very comfortable i love the packaging it applies so smoothly and very light very very comfortable but it still has like a matte finish and i like this shade a lot the tiramisu i would definitely try out the other lipsticks as well this one is a really really good vegan cruelty free bullet lipstick and i really like this shade tiramisu for like the winter it actually also has a scent kind of smells like cupcake and smells really really good i think the lipstick is worth it as well so definitely the lipstick and the eyeshadow palette like i really really love this eyeshadow palette um i know i'm gonna be using it a lot i love the packaging i love that it's slim like this and the highlighter i just really really like the highlighter it's very smooth really really good formula out of everything that are like the top three from everything that i tried out and really really like let me know in the comment section if you are trying out rem beauty what do you think about a new celebrity makeup brand let me know what you think in the comment section below do you like ariana i like her music i like ariana i feel like the main thing is like the prices i was actually thinking that the prices were gonna be a little bit more compared to like these other celebrity makeup brands that i see it's one of the other reasons why i decided to try it out and i'm glad that i did because i actually like a lot of the products i hope this video was helpful to you guys and thank you for being patient and supporting my channel i really really appreciate it make sure you subscribe hit the bell to get notified when i upload a new video i upload every week i try to upload every week sometimes i miss a week here and there but for the most part i do upload every week at least one video so give this video a thumbs up and share it with anybody that you think would would like REM Beauty or is interested in it and wants to know what the tea is on Ariana Grande's makeup brand and thank you guys so much for watching I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video bye